Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Team GG UI in Roblox Studio. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the plus, insert a screen UI to start GUI. We'll name the screen GUI Team Changer. Then, make a frame. I think this is a good size. What we're going to do is we're going to enter UI corner next. And then we'll make the corner radius around 0.1. Then set the background color to sort of like 40, 40, 40. Then what we'll do is we'll just name this frame mainframe. And inside plus, we'll insert a text button. Let's rescale the text button to what you want. There we go, so I'm gonna insert a text and I'm gonna put it on the top so it indicates what this is. Then after that we're gonna put our teams into the teams folder. If you've already got your teams then you can just ignore this step. So I'm gonna have three teams. I'll be able to explain this if you have more than three teams. So after that what we'll do is we click on the plus and insert a script. Then what we'll do is we'll do script.parent.mouse mobile we'll click colon connect function and then we'll do this. So script.parent.parent.parent.parent.team color equals brick color dot new and then we need to set up team brick color so my team one is gonna be we'll do light blue and for team two we'll do yellow and for team three we'll do green so you can obviously put in your colors so if your team is not really blue then put it as the team color you have so but well, mine is really blue so i'm gonna put really blue in mine then after that i'm gonna just duplicate the one you can do that by pressing Control D or Command D, and then we'll do Team Two for the second one, and then Team Three for the last one. Then inside here, we'll do Team Two, which is New Yellow, and then we'll do Team Three, which is um, I think it's Sea Green, which it was. So if you want to kill the player once they click the button, you can skip the step if you don't want to do that. What we'll do is we'll go into the scripts, and then we'll do we'll just copy this line right here, just copy this bit. Paste and then we'll do dot character dot human weight dot health equals zero. Then you can just copy this line into the other scripts. And then once you've done that, click on the mainframe, set the anchor point to 0 0.50, 0 0.50, sorry, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then set the position to 0 0.50, 0 0.50. And then the position on the y axis will do 1.5. Then just duplicate the button that we've made and put it into the screen GUI. Just remove the switch from it and then just rescale it. Now just and then on this button we'll do team changer and then insert a local script inside of here and then we'll do script.parent.mouse we'll one click colon connect function and then what we'll do here is we'll do local open equals false and we'll do if open equals equals false then open equals true scripts dot parent dot parent dot mainframe colon tween position udin2 dot new 0 0.50 then we'll do in out quad and we'll do the time which is 0 0.5 i'm going to put that you can put it whatever you want and then true then we'll do else open equals false then just copy this line right here paste it in the new line and then set this to 1.5 then it should just like this and then we can play test the game now we're in the game we got our teams team 1 team 2 and team 3 i'm on team 1 so if i change to team 3 i'll change to team 3 and it'll kill me so if i do team 1 again and change to team 1 then when i respawn i'll do team 2 and it respawns me on team 2 so that's how you make a simple Team Changer GUI in Roblox Studio. If you enjoyed, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.